here in this problem we would like to calculate the center of mass of a system which consists of two thin metal rods which were arranged in the format of a shape in the shape of t as shown they are thin such that their thickness is very small like this if they were arranged like this what is the center of mass of the system assuming that the two rods are identical in the nature then the first thing is from where we have to calculate the center of mass when nothing is mentioned we can consider this point as a reference point from which we would like to calculate the center of mass treating that itself as a origin now it is very clear for us that from that point we would like to calculate the center of mass but we can see that the two bodies are not point sized bodies rather they are lengthy bodies and their mass is distributed before proceeding further we want to reshape the diagram readjust the diagram in such a way that instead of the bodies two bodies two rods i would like to put a point with reference to that point from where i would like to calculate the center of mass i would like to say instead of the first rod we can assume the point of the mass of the first rod is at the center of mass of the first rod that is at that point itself because this is a distributed mass center of mass for any regular body is at the center of the system center of this first system is at the, at the center of that rod itself similarly if this rod is having a length l this mass is also distributed therefore its center of mass is at the middle at what distance this will be automatically at the half of the length so i can imagine another point here who is at a distance of l by 2 from the point of center of mass from the reference point so our diagram will become an equivalent diagram like this where instead of the two rods i can imagine two points where one point is at the origin another point is hanging down at a distance of l by 2 now i would like to say the mass of that system is equal to being a one dimensional body it is directly proportional to length if it is a two dimensional body i could be writing mass is directly proportional to area if it is a three dimensional body mass is directly proportional to volume Uh, and x1 y1 that is the position of the center of mass of the first rod is a origin because from there itself we are calculating the center of mass and we can calculate x2 y2 as it is on the y axis therefore in the place of y2 i can write l by 2 now there is no xcm for this system because um, both the particles are on the y axis uh, therefore its xcm equal to 0 it will have only ycm there will be xcm when the particles are also on the x axis but as per the shaped problem reshaped problem both the particles are existing on y axis no particles are existing on x axis therefore there is no xcm we can write formula for the ycm as m1 y1 and m2 y2 by m1 plus m2 as i said in the place of the mass directly proportional to length because it's a one dimensional body l1 equal to 0 because that itself is treated like a reference to determine the center of mass of the system m2 is also l y2 is l by 2 m1 plus m2 is l plus l therefore our answer is l and uh, l by 2 l square by 2 by 2l so we can rearrange this as l square by 4l by cancelling all l i can say nothing but uh, l by 4 so the center of mass of this system lies at a particular location which is at uh, if this is totally l by 2 here is the center of mass of the system Who is at a location at a distance of l by 4 from this point of 
reference.